All right, everyone. So Dan Hurley has been extended by the Yukon Huskies. We're going to give you the number he was extended on at, towards the end of this video. But first, we're going to read you a statement. Dan Hurley is the best men's basketball coach in the nation, and we are delighted that he will continue to call Yukon home, said Yukon President Redenica Merrick. In addition to the exceptional program he has built over a period of years in the extraordinary back-to-back -back NCAA championships he and his teams won, Coach Hurley serves as a critical mentor to our student-athletes, pushing them to achieve both on the court and in the classroom, helping to lay the groundwork for their success in, long, in life long after they left UConn. We are grateful for both his championship culture, for his leadership at our university, and in our state. So that's Dan, uh, you know, a statement on Dan Hurley. So Dan Hurley signed a six-year $50 million extension. So that's his extension, his years, and his money. Now remember, the Lakers offered him six years, $70 million. So he took $20 million less. But this re-brings up the question of the Lakers very clearly could have gotten Dan Hurley if they wanted Dan Hurley. They had an offer, six years, $100 million. It is double what he is getting from UConn. And they didn't offer it. They offered six years, 70. So this doesn't make sense, right? This just makes no sense to me. I don't know how anybody can explain it to me. I just, I don't know what they were doing. You know, they had, if they didn't want Dan Hurley, they could have just said, hey, he's one of the guys we're interviewing, but they made him seem like he was the guy they were going for. And then they just didn't offer him a contract that anybody really would, like they didn't really entice him. I mean, I understand $20 million is a boatload of money, but to uproot your life like Dan Hurley would have had to, to leave your recruits behind, you're going to have to really, you know, sweeten the pot, especially because he'd be going to a Lakers team where even more pressure would be on him. You just have to sweeten the pot, right? You know, $50 million isn't a bad salary either, and he gets the deal. He gets to stay where he is. I just don't understand what the Lakers were thinking. They should have just... Made it, you know, they should have just said, hey, well, yeah, we're, we're going in another direction. Or he's one of the guys we're interviewing, but it's only at this price. Instead, they really did nothing to dispel any rumors. They made it seem like he was option one. And then, of course, he turned them down. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.